Hello, everybody. We're damn glad you're here, except that guy. No, please leave. I'll wait. This is Far Out Fiesta, episode 245, 13 one minutes. I'm your master of ceremonies and Fafketeer Richard Houghton. Fafketeer, oh, sound off now. Fafketeer Juliana. Juliana Briscoe. Buffketeer Rob. Rob Hudspeth. Buffketeer Kristen. Kristen Keith. Tonight's show features 13 one minute sketches in four categories Pop the Corn, Prison Saloon, and the Fmarps. Mixed in with some generic sketches, including us, you know, just kind of playing ourselves. Yeah. Have we ever done the Fmarps before? No, but it will be super obvious who we're ripping off. Ah, rad. Hmm. Far out. Let's fiesta. <laughs> ah, first sketch. Fly a kite. Rob is up in the tree. This tree is so tall, I can see Canada. Why is he up there? My kite crashed into it, and he's helping me get it down. Is this it? No, I'm not sure whose kite that is. Mine is much, much higher up the tree. Um, well, I'm a little afraid of heights, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'll take the kite you just found. Um, if, if you don't want to, if, if you want to get it for me, I'll, I'll take it. Well, that, that would be stealing. No, I think the most reason, I think most reasonable people would assume that the kite has been abandoned. When have any of you ever been reasonable people? Who thinks it's reasonable to try to knock Rob out of that tree with pumpkins? No, oh, I do. And you know I do, Juliana? Oh, what the hell? Maybe a pumpkin will dislodge my kite. Okay, should we use the, the pumpkin cannons? No, and you said not to bring those. Mm -hmm. well, do, you, do you want to join Rob up in the damn tree? Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Look, you two, my pumpkin missed his head by about two inches. Dang it. Uh, hey, guys, I think it's raining pumpkins. I, I, I don't think it's safe. Uh, I, I, ah! Yeah, got him with that one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> nice. Oh, and the kite's still up there. Who cares? It's like we kite. Guys, guys, when I fell from that tall tree... My pelvis fused with a cock shell. Now, if you put your ear on my hip, you can hear the ocean. Guys? Oh, look, and here comes the kite. Here you go. Thanks, Richard. This calls for a round of drinks. Ooh, that sounds great. <laughs> it sure does. Uh, guys, there was a mollusk in the cock shell, and it's integrated into my central nervous system quite painfully, I might add. Look, Rob's turning into a mollusk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the popped corn section. Second sketch, farmer's market. Down with parents, up with allowance. Down with parents, up with allowance. Why is your sister Lacey picketing, Winkles? Down with parents, up with allowance. Down with parents, up with allowance. Um, she wants her allowance in Bitcoin and her food exclusively from the farmer's market. Um, well, that seems unreasonable. Hey, Lacey, what you're doing is wrong. Hey, back off, man. What, are you her bodyguard? Damn straight, stupid. 
but you're my dog. Ah, some manners. And by the way, Katie's. <laughs> hey there, dog. You can't just tease my best friend. Sure, I can. And I can tease you too. Tease! E <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <sighs> with parents up with allowance down with parents up with allowance wow that was a great taste now oh where are you going hey down with parents up with allowance if you can't beat them join them down, down with, with parents, parents up with allowance, with allowance. <laughs> third sketch photograph top attraction Thank you for taking us on this walking photography tour, Scooby. No sweat. On your left, you will see the Hudson House. Where an evil shopkeeper dissolved all of his employees in acid. Uh-huh. And there, of course, is the school for the wicked. Oh, I applied to go to school there. Fingers crossed. If you look between those trees, you can also see Mount Phobius. Oh, it's so phallic. Way to make it weird, Linkus. Yeah, thanks a lot, Linkus. Hmm. It is phallic, but not as big as mine, you dig? Uh, suddenly these photographs are going to be worth a lot more money. Or sketch, volleyball. Come on, Chasby. Come on, Linkus. It's two on two volleyball, boys against the girls, and androgynous <laughs> dogs. Yeah, you'll never guess my pronoun. I'm always interested in vigorous activity. Ordinarily, I am not for sporting, but this volleyball match could be exhilarating. Just shut up and serve. Hey, you can't talk to my teammate like that. Well, we serve. I'd like to everyone to air their grievances about Chesby. Great idea. He's a total cube head and his breath smells like sprouts. Sometimes he finishes my dog food. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not one to say negative things about my best friend. His head is huge and his feet are tiny. Can I please just serve the ball? In a moment, I'm joining their team. Three against one. You're going down, cube head. Ah! Thus ends the popped corn section. Next up the prison saloon section. This is the prison saloon section. Sixth sketch, water park. I told you water park was a great idea. All the progressive wardens are doing it. <laughs> I am definitely a progressive warden. Well, I'm a little afraid of the water. Going into my exposed eye socket. I will sock it water sexy. We'll just make our way to the top of the slide. Oh, wait, wait. Me first. What are you two doing? Oh, we're finding you two together. Um, you know, that fine nylon string is really, oh, it's really cutting into my flesh. Oh, yeah, mine too. Oh, quit your whining. Come on, it's your turn. Well, with us bound together like this, sliding down the slide could decapitate us. Yeah, or, or we'll drown. And I guess Viv and I will just have to take over your, take over your season passes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Seven sketch. Go, fruit picking. See, you two didn't drown. I did. Yeah, me too. The EMT said I've been dead for 40 minutes. And somebody, somebody drew a caterpillar on my private. Well, that's why we thought we'd make it up to you by going fruit picking. Well, I love fruit picking. You two are the most violent criminals I've ever known. I think we should head back to the prison. Well, look at all the grapefruit, Forty Mooney. Well, I do loves me some grapefruit. 
Well, how about you, you big strong men, climb up into the grapefruit tree and drop drop them down to us? There sure are a lot of trees in this episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's do it, Warden Mooney. She called us big and strong. Uh, is this high enough? A little higher. Now we can take our prison-issued bras and make David and Goliath-style slingshots. High-velocity grapefruit do the trick. <laughs> are, are those grapefruit whizzing toward our heads? Uh, eighth sketch. Skip rocks into a lake. Once again... We can't be more sorry about trying to drown you and knocking you out of tall trees with grapefruit. <laughs> we don't do those horrible things to you because we love you. Aww. Oh, why did you bring us to this lake? Well, there's nothing more soothing than, than skipping rocks on a lake. <laughs> I agree, though I am in a tremendous amount of pain. Oh. Well... How about you do go back, find us some perfect skipping rocks? Viv, I'm not sure they're up to that task. Oh, sure we are. Oh, uh, we'll find you the best skipping rocks ever. Moments later. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, they took off, didn't they? Yes, Warren and Mooney. We're dumbasses. Night sketch. Take a staycation. It wasn't easy capturing you two again. I lost a finger and a heel. What? And I have new thing, new things sloshing around in my head. I'm sorry to be so harsh, but you leave me no choice. What? Work release program? Prison Pilates. Solitary confinement. That's not going to work for us. Yeah, we're going to need to be together. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of defeats the point of solitary confinement. Uh, please confine us together. Please. Please. Uh, Pete? Pete, whose side are you on? Oh, fine. Both of you can be in solitary confinement. Can we? Oh, I, I'm not sure two people will fit in there. Oh, sure they will. Nah, I don't believe it. Oh, well, Pete and I can show you. Yeah, sure can. That's, see, look. Both of us are in here. Yeah, you sure are. Yeah, and you probably won't need these keys to the prison. Yoink. Um, what are we going to do, Warden Meanie? Well, we can start by you getting your foot out of my pocket. Okay, but only if you remove your thumb from my rectum. Never mind. Thus ends the prison saloon section. Next up, a quick sketch from us. Actually, that's not there. Next up, the Smurfs section. <laughs> this is the Smurfs section. We've never done the Smurfs before. The Smurfs are a colony of lime green humanoid creatures who live in cheeseburger-shaped houses and marshes. They're tiny. <laughs> and sketch, have a brioche French toast brunch. You'll have to feel that, Padre Smurf. Oh, feel what, Fama Feta? Static electricity in my spit valve? Not everything is related to your spit valve. Well, you don't know me at all. Are you feeling the solar flares that make your socks pinch your legs too much? No, it's the sound of your brioche French toast brunch dying. How could you say that, Marfetta? We are all here. How could our brunch be dying? Well, I think what Marfetta is saying is that like the great white sea monkey, our brunch will die if it doesn't keep swimming. Uh, ouch! What the hell, Marfetta? Why, why are you, why are you stabbing me? Marf, explain me, bitch! 
and the sea monkeys are nothing but mother smurfing brain trip snap 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 I, are you are you still studying me uh quit studying me yeah wish i stab swish or cut stab 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 smurfetto smurfetto while you were stabbing max smurf i found this new brioche french toast recipe on my phone it has cinnamon Wow, it sounds delicious. Mm. That fat could be stir, could be stir, stir, stir. I'll finish your sentence, Marfetta, so you will stop stabbing me. Cinnamon, that can work. Say, you missed a spot with your stabbing. Thanks, Chaudry Spur. Sam. Oh, and now all of my main arteries are nicked. Still, I can't wait to taste that cinnamon French toast. My stab wounds have actually impeded my ability to taste. What are you doing, Unity Marf? Filling your lungs with my, with spit for my spit valve while I wait for my French toast. You Marfs are too much. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why are you laughing? This is tragic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eleven sketch, make a fort with blankets. Ah, my blanket fort is darn near perfect. It's like a little blanket graceland. Time for a little peace and quiet and maybe a fried banana and peanut butter sandwich. Where's Padre's? Marf, now! Wow, this is such an amazing blanket fort. Why won't you let him in? He thinks he's better than us. And he thinks he's safe from us in that blanket fort he created. Oh, no, I don't. I'm adding more blankets. We have a vulnerability in the west wing of Blanket Graceland. Padre Marf, he needs his me time. <laughs> I'll distract him. Hey, Padre Smurf, on the top of my smart key, it just keeps falling off. Smurf, it does? Yes, come over to the west side of your fork and you can see. Oh, coming. Now's your chance. Come on, Unity. If we both storm the east side now, we can overpower him. Do you mind if I play my trumpet while we storm? Um, ever heard of the element of surprise? Oh, no. Is that on the periodic table of elements? Well, let's just be as quiet as we can, and we'll take the east side of the fort. Roger that. Say, what's that noise on the east side? I'd better go investigate. Yeah, it fell off again. Oh, Fmuff, it did? Knack Fmuff, Unity Fmuff. You two fmuffs seem to have invaded my fort. We sure did. Now it's our turn to rule the blanket fort. I'll just play my victory song on my trumpet. Or we can stretch Spawn Reef Marf naked and dangle him outside his own blanket fort by his own blankets. I like that idea much better. Um, I don't. Give him smurfs. Moments later, Padre Smarf dangles naked, bound in the blankets of his own blanket fort. You know, it's humiliating enough that I'm naked, but would you mind not uh, throwing spoiled eggs at me? We have to do something with these spoiled eggs. I'm aiming for his eyes. I'm aiming for his mouth. Well, and now I'm vomiting. Spoiled eggs, naked, bound in the blankets of my own blanket foot. Happy Padre's Day, Padre Smurf. You mofos are the devil. Twelve sketch. Try a new recipe. What are you doing, Mac Marf? Marf? I'm looking for my favorite recipe for Rubens that don't digest like prickers in your lower GI. Where do you think it is? Well, using the Marf Matrix algorithm leads me to believe that my recipe is in Padre Smurf's 
stand right now. Oh, you mean this math flip paper covered with my math droppings? Come on, Ray. Smart. Be smart. Should I play Revelé on my trumpet for the dead recipe? Sure. Oh, hooray! Quietly. Aww. I guess that means we need a new recipe. Oh, but but wherever can we find a new recipe? We could also give up Rubens and get wasted on smart wine. Hooray! I uh, finished this recipe. Uh, no, I fished this recipe out of the Smurflet. Are you sure you don't want it? Yes! Thus ends the Smurf section. Next up, a quick sketch from us, and then this son of a bitch is over. Last sketch. Have a dinner party. Oh, it's been too long. <laughs> it really has. Or, uh, you know, not long enough. <laughs> what was that? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, thanks for, for having us over. Yeah. I mean, it, it, everything smells great. Mm -hmm. uh, bask in its uh, finality. What was that? Um, you know, we, we used to see you two all the time. Yeah, I mean, and then, and then it was like once a month. And, and then it was like once a year. Yeah. yeah. About that. Uh, we think once a year is too much. Pardon? You know, we're beginning to feel like uh, this is uh, one of those uh, friendships that's run its course. Um, so what are you saying? Once you leave this house tonight, we never want to see her here from you two ever again, or we'll call the cops. Well, we're the godparents of your children. <laughs> the kids will be fine. I mean, you two were, were in our wedding. Oh, my bridesmaid just cost a fortune. Uh huh. So did my tux. Mm -hmm. Yep. Have you two been holding these grudges for all these years? Oh, uh, grudges require energy. Yeah, we really didn't put that much thought into you two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're pretty much done with you. <laughs> but we're willing to play nice for the rest of the meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? Hey, I know when I'm not wanted. So, come on, Kristen. Well, uh, actually... Mm -hmm. yeah, Kristen can stay. Oh, did somebody say sister wife? <sighs> this has been... Far Out Fiesta, episode 245, 13 one minutes. I have been your host and humble narrator, Richard Houghton. He has been. Please and give it up for been. our amazing cast, Juliana Briscoe. Yeah. Rob Hutzbeth. Hey. And Kristen Keith. <laughs> Before we leave, I've got some very, very important questions. Uh, three very, very important questions. And these are your DFW area favorites. So anybody anywhere in the DFW Metroplex, favorite mall, favorite movie theater, favorite live music venue, favorite mall, favorite movie theater, favorite live music venue. I will go first. Uh, North Park is my favorite mall, just sentimentality, and it's been around forever. It's the only mall in town when we came to Texas in 1967. So I have a fondness for uh, North Park movie theater. It's not a movie theater anymore, but the Granada used to be second run movie theater. I used to love it. That was a great, great movie theater. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna say the Granada for that. And then, um, uh, is it, I lost its name, Kessler, uh, the, the music, Bishop Arts, Jeff Lyles, yeah, yeah Kessler, right? Mm -hmm. Or music venue. Okay. Uh, Jules. Okay. Uh, categories. Mm -hmm. Favorite mall, favorite movie theater, and a live music venue. Okay. I'm going to go with the North Park Mall. Yay. Uh, no particular reason. I don't really even have time to get them all, but I like it. Because... <laughs> yeah, I don't either, but I still like it. I mean, they have an espresso there. So there you go. Uh, 
guess the um, what was number two? Movie theater. Movie theater. Alamo Draft House. I like what yeah. they have. And then uh, I'm gonna pick the Bomb Factory because I don't really have time to go to see music, but yeah. I like it. called the yeah. Bomb. That is a really good venue for sure. What about you, Rob? Uh, let's see. Favorite mall, of course, is North Park. Yeah. Um, I guess Grapevine Mills would be runner up just because it's the closest. Right. Um, let's see. Favorite movie theater? Gosh. You know, it, it doesn't get any cool points, but I guess I would have to say the, uh, the Cinemark there in Grapevine because that's where my son and I have seen just a ton of movies together. So it's awesome. got a lot of sentimental value. Cool. Uh, at that particular theater. Yep. So, um, and uh, the music venue. Mm -hmm. uh, seems like the past couple of concerts I've seen have actually been at the Granada. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's a great I venue. Actually, I actually have enjoyed watching concerts at the Granada. So. Yeah. Agreed. Yep. Uh, all right, Kristen. Favorite okay, ball. I'll, make it, I'll make it unanimous. North Park. North Park. Yay, so North Park. Sentimental value there. Yeah, there is. There are a lot. Uh, and favorite movie theater is the one that's near our houses, Richard. Dollar? Um, in the Plano. Former, former Dollar Theater? Yes, it used to be yes. a Dollar Theater. It's a Cinemark 1818 Point Road in the West Park Village Shopping Center. Wow. Make your right. movie selection at any time. That's right. And this movie phone. <clears throat> and then... I don't know much about uh, the Meyerson. Hey, Meyerson is a great live music that. venue. I Absolutely. So much. I have sentimental value there too. I'm cool. A violinist. So. Jules, it looked like you had a question. It's no longer a dollar there. No, uh, -uh. they they upgraded it a while back, and then COVID, and now they're back open, but it's upgraded now. Oh man! Yeah, it was a very sad day. It was a very very sad day. All right, has anybody got anything cool that they would like to plug? Anything coming up? Ah. They're allowed to talk about. <laughs> I do know that um, Texas Horror Cult, uh, this oh, year's yeah. version of Mary Scary, which I'm forgetting the name of it right now, uh, but it's coming. Um, it's basically, it'll be a, a 48 hour horror film. Except it's six days. They got six days this time. So. Oh, it's so like, how, how many hours is that? I, can't, <coughs> I, can't, I don't, I can't add that much. I'm not a magician, five. man. I don't know math. Five. Yeah, I'm not a, not a com, com, science computer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a six day race. It's all horror. Um, 144 hours. Wow. 144 hours. Quite a bit. 144 hour film fest. And the venue <laughs> is back. Uh, the venue is back to the Texas Theater. Uh, uh, the the premiere is I don't remember exactly when in October, and then signups are pretty soon. I want to say they start pretty soon, and I think they run into mid to late August. But just go to uh, Texas Horror Cult. Uh, actually, I'll put a link on um, Far Out Fiesta uh, to it. Um, I'm sure Joey good. will appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> well, anybody else? I, I, I the, uh, little short film I did is doing a little 48 hour run this weekend. I think this weekend is the uh, one time you can see it oh, online. Short film. It's th th that that one that um I, I did where I was the the, the guy doing the thing, uh, Spiral of a Vice. Uh, there's a link to it on my Facebook page, and I probably put one on the info web page. But yeah, it's called Spiral of a, of a Vice. Awesome. It's out there. So I guess I'll plug it. Very nice. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. See you next week. Good night. Bye. Bye.